What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are taking a stab at Town Hall 11 base building. This is something a lot of viewers have requested and maybe they're bots in the comments, who knows, um, at least some of you guys have to be bots, but maybe we're making the bots happy, maybe we're making the viewers happy. Town Hall 11 base building, let's talk about the keys of a good base. We're looking at several examples, two different bases um, that are partially built and I'm going to show um, you know why this is the most important elements that have been put down and how you would continue to fill out the space um, Okay, so let's get into the details of it first things first town hall 11 keep your eagle very central um, Most important building some people put it offset I prefer to keep it central a lot of these things you might not totally agree with if you're an experienced base builder but this is a good framework for uh, beginner intermediate town hall 11 base builders that if you just do these things every time you're gonna have at least a pretty good base um, Eagle central and if you notice if you look around the Eagle, there's all kinds of anti-queen uh, Wall setups, so this wall is has three tiles or sorry four tiles between it and the Eagle So the Queen cannot reach beyond those walls same with these walls same with uh, these walls actually, maybe should be moved out one. Um, that's a good catch, maybe move that air defense out one um, and move this wall back. That way the queen cannot reach the eagle from outside these walls. And obviously not all the walls have been placed in this base. We'd probably have more compartments kind of out in this region. Um, and then finally, same thing with, uh, oops, that wall is moving all around. Same thing over here, queen can't reach the eagle. Um, so central eagle. Now one thing that I love to do in my bases is to basically partition the base into three segments around the core. The, you have a multi-inferno covering uh, two of them, then the other you have dead space behind the eagle as we do here. Uh, there's going to be some type of building here, maybe it's a wizard tower, maybe not. Um, but besides that there's some dead space behind the eagle. And then you have your expo farm uh, beyond that. And the reason I do this is because it makes it difficult to attack and it allows the air sweepers to cover the entire base pretty much because you have a sweeper pointing towards one inferno, sweeper pointing towards the other inferno, then what's kind of that third that's behind them has that dead space in it so it's hard for any balloons, dragons, anything like that to move through there um, because there's that dead space they're going to path around it. Um, so you have the most uh, urgent areas covered by those sweepers which is awesome. Um, so that's what, one of the good reasons of partitioning the base like that. Also, you have this uh, isolated high damage area that if the attacker sends a lot of stuff at to try to neutralize, um, there's not really a lot to go past um, because the pathing into, into the eagle is very bad since you have that dead space between the eagle and the expo island. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, air defenses, you put them with, uh, I think, pair them up and put them with the multi infernos so two by one inferno two by the other um, that's going to make it difficult for queen charges and i like to put them back some people put them like right in that outer layer of the base i like to drop them back a little bit it makes it trickier for queen charges because the healers can get picked off if the queen goes at a weird angle and if you have them in pairs it makes it even harder because if the queen goes at one inferno the healers might be getting hit by the other uh sorry not inferno the healers might be getting hit by the other air defense um as far as traps go, I would recommend you put your uh, tornado trap by your expo farm. No lava hound is going to trigger it prematurely. Um, this makes Lalo very difficult because uh, either the attacker uses their kill squad slash queen charge or whatever it is over here on your expo um, area, which also should have your wizard towers um, more so than other areas. You want a couple wizard towers. This isn't perfect, but you get the idea. Um, that's going to be tough to, uh, to Lalo because if you use the kill squad there, you still have all the air defenses plus the inferno towers to deal with, plus the sweepers in good position. Alternatively, if the attacker neutralizes like one of these areas over there or maybe even down here with their kill squad, um, a lava hound's not going to, you know, sit nicely in this area. So it's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, real estate on the base that's not going to be tanked by a lava hound and that's where you're going to put your red air bombs is in this area as well so you put some red air bombs around here um, you get the idea seeking air mines are going to be better spent by your air defenses um, because queen charges are more likely there 
coming at the Inferno. Uh, the Queen, I would say, typically put by one of the Infernos or between them. Don't put the Queen with your Expo Island and keep the CC covering her well so a Sui hero is much harder with like a Hound in the CC to kind of protect your Queen like that. So that would be my recommendation there. Um, obviously with the Wizard Towers, don't put them all in this area. Keep them spread out. Maybe keep two possibly three around here, then the other two on the other uh, uh, the, the other end of the base, and make sure they can't be tanked by an ice golem, just to make sure the bats uh, cannot be used. You don't want an easy drag bat used on your base. You can just take that out right away by making the wizard towers uh, not able to be tanked by an ice golem by using mortars and stuff like that on the outside of the base. Okay, so let's switch over to a different example, and it's the same principles, just applied a little differently on a different base. Once again, we have the central eagle. Look around um, these walls, any of these uh, layers of walls, you can see had that magical num number of four tiles between the wall and the eagle, so the queen can't reach the eagle from outside uh, that area. It makes it very hard on queen charges to get the eagle down. Um, we have infernos kind of covering their thirds of the base. Then on the other end, we have the dead space, and then we have the expos and we're going to be keeping the air defenses by the inferno towers in pairs and i like to like i said kind of keep them not on the outer layer but a little bit farther back and then if you do something like this a queen charge at this multi inferno the queen's going to pick one way to either you know come shoot this air defense or come shoot that air defense meanwhile the healers are probably going to start getting picked off um so that's a, a good way to do it is to keep them a little bit distance from each other but close enough that they can make it uh, tricky for the queen charges. Wizard towers, of course, you might want to have, you know, like that, and maybe like one, even one over here, and go ahead and use the other two. Um, somewhere where you can't freeze both the wizard tower and the inferno, uh, so just keep that in mind. You don't want to allow that to happen. So as you fill in more compartments, you could probably put a wizard tower in that compartment with, uh, oops, with some walls out around here. You get the idea. Once again, the air sweepers are covering um, kind of the infernos. There's some dead space here, so you can get away with a sweeper not pointing directly at that inferno. But they're covering the areas that are best connected to the base. So you can see that you know as you fill in defenses like this, there's going to be pretty uh, obvious pathing coming this area towards the eagle, and also on the opposite side coming at this multi inferno. So we have that covered with our sweepers. Not worried about covering the area down here because we have the dead space, um, which is going to make it difficult for any air troops to path through towards the eagle from that direction. Queen splits the infernos covered by the uh, clan castle. That's how uh, you like to do it. And um, once again, guys, in terms of the trap uh, distribution, you want to put your tornado over here. You want to put your red air bombs over here. And you want to put, I would say, your spring traps over here because um, it's a good chance you might have hogs or miners coming through. Um, so just to visualize that, these are the traps you want covering this type on, of area on your base. Over here, what you want is your seeking air mines, um, more likely to have a queen charge or some type of air type attack coming in. Um, you know, have them try to cover your air defenses too in case a lava hound's tanking. You can be sure that a seeking air mine will get it busted up pretty quickly. So seeking air mines on this side, I'd also say skeletons. Um, they can you know, make it tricky for queen charges and just holding up uh, troops in general. And then also giant bombs are a good way to kind of put them in places where a heal spell would be inefficient. And um, you can use that to your advantage by putting these, these giant bombs in places that attacker doesn't want to use the heal. And then they don't have a heal for an area they might actually need it. Um, I think that covers pretty much all the traps, guys. Um, Defensive King, you want to typically put over here with the Expo Wizard Tower area and keep him separate from your Queen. Um, so those are my thoughts on Town Hall 11 base building. Uh, I like segmenting my bases into thirds. Like I said, you have Inferno on one third, Inferno on the other third, air defenses, all that good stuff over there. On the other end, separated by dead space, you have your... Uh, expo farm with some wizard towers and then your eagle in the middle let me know what you think maybe you can finish off these bases for me and even tell me how they do uh, in war once completed encourage you to do so but until then that'll do it for today's video and i'll see you guys next time
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.